Uh, oh, it's a Dallas. You fooled me. It's a Dallas bear. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Vinyl and Hops, or L-O-T-D, V-P, Elemental P. So we're going to talk some beer, some records on this one, of course. And maybe in some future episodes, we'll talk about some other stuff. You never know. Check out the podcast, LOTDpodcast.com. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on Google Play. We're on Stitcher. New episodes every Monday morning. So check that out. What are we drinking? Uh, this is a beer that I actually grabbed when I was in San Antonio recently. Nice. But the brewery's not from San Antonio. The brewery is from Dallas. Uh, oh, it's a Dallas. You fooled me. It's a Dallas beer. <laughs> I'm it's from Four Corners Brewing Company, and it's one of their special brews, apparently. And it's their uh, La Lechuza S'more Stout. Uh, it comes at 7.6% alcohol. Um, and, you know, on the can it says... Brings a creamy stout enhanced with mellow cinnamon and smooth, semi-sweet chocolate. Enjoy it at a cool temperature with toasty company. That's me. <laughs> it's one of those where the entire lid comes off of it, so you don't really need to pour it at all. You can get the full smell going when, on. When I first saw these, I was like, oh, this is fucking genius. Everyone should do it. And then I just haven't seen one in such a <laughs> long time. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And I think Nebraska Brewing Company does on a regular basis, and Southern started it for a bit with conspiracy yeah, theory. That's how that I yeah, yeah. That's how I got into it. Um, why is why have you not found this here? I don't have an answer for that. Hmm. I don't know if it's just a different distributor going to San Antonio that's not Silver Eagle. I don't, I don't know. Because aren't they pretty much equidistant? Or, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Equidistant using words. <laughs> you can do it too, friends. I don't really have a reason, but I would, I would like to try more of this brewery. I mean, this is a good beer. Um, it's a good, it's a great winter time beer. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Even if your winters are forties and fifties, <laughs> that's all we get. Um, but I would also like to drink this beer by a fire. I feel like it would be perfect by a fire. Absolutely. While camping. Um, I love fires. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, good beer. Uh, if you do see it, pick it up definitely. I think it's only sold in four packs. I think it was like nine or ten bucks for the four pack. Um, Tasty though. Yeah. Four pack's probably all you need. Four pack. Fire. Hallmark Channel Christmas movies. What? I was going to say some vinyl. Oh, damn it. That would have been <laughs> way better. Sorry. Scratch that. <laughs> well, we needed some vinyl. See how I did that? That was yeah. awesome. Yeah, exactly. So, let's talk about some records. What, what you got for us today? Um, well, because I have an, I guess, unhealthy obsession with chemists for some reason. That I, is true. I, I can't really put, I don't, I don't know why. You did I, see them recently. I did see them at Brash recently, and it was awesome, and it was 100 degrees and super fucking hot. And, Didn't uh, they play at like noon or something? <laughs> they, played so it, weird. they played at 2.30, it was 100 degrees, and Brash had just released Hammer Smash, Hammer smashed face which was like a 13 and a half percent stout so they waited until it was as warm as it was going to be for the day yep. before they played and mm. this really heavy beer was released yep <laughs> good job guys <laughs> it was a lot of fun i mean even at, when they were done oh people were God. yelling for encore and maybe you should have started your business <laughs> in december <laughs> and these guys were just like it's 100 degrees when it's played for a fucking hour. You gotta be kidding me. We're not giving you an off <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> We're from Colorado. It's cold. But um, this year, they, they released an album last year. They're working on their new album that'll be out sometime in 2018. But to hold people over in 2017, they released... You can't be patient. <laughs> they released a split with Spirit Adrift, which it's just two songs. Spirit of Drift I've seen on a lot of best of lists for 2017, but I haven't actually listened to that album yet. It's a good album. It? I really enjoyed it. What um, style is it? Is, is it's, it Doom? It's, it's kind of similar to Chemist. Like an epic it, Doom kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit more fast-paced, uh, better guitar work. It's fast Doom. Speed <laughs> Doom. I, t I tell you, I want to start a Speed Doom band. If you're in, internet band, let's go call them. Um, but both of them took classic southern folk songs and did their own twist on them. Um, 
It was only a thousand released. I don't know one Southern folk song. Have you ever seen um, Oh Brother Where Art Thou? Yes. Man of Constant Sorrow. Oh, yes, I do know why. That's, I've, I've seen some. a movie. I'm so, I'm so pumped. But it was, two for two. <laughs> it was a thousand of them released, 500 on red vinyl, which I got, uh, 500 on black. It unfolds to the full picture. And uh, Spirit of Drift actually did Man of Constant Sorrow on this. Oh, there man. <laughs> yes, I and, know what I'm doing. And Chemist did A Conversation with Death, or some people might know it as Ove Death. Um, but it's their take on those classic hmm. southern folk songs That's cool. in a doom fashion. Um, both songs are excellent. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to find this anywhere or not, since there were only a thousand released. It'd probably be a record store somewhere. Or Check Discogs. Yeah. Check Discogs. But um, I had to pick it up because Chemist is Spirit Adrift. So. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's, that's cool because a lot of bands, like you'll see a lot of like Norwegian bands or, you know, that they kind of, they'll do some like Norwegian folk kind of stuff or some throwback and, uh, you know, the U.S. just hasn't been a country for that long, really, to, uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things to, you can't, how far back can we go with recorded music, <laughs> you know, not very far. Um, so, you know, just being able to go back at least to like that kind of, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it's very cool. Yeah. Nice. I will check that out. Um, this album for me, I totally expected to be in my top five of 2017. Unfortunately, there were so many good albums in 2017. <coughs> I was going to hide it, but who cares? Um, there were so many good albums in 2017 that it actually didn't make the top ten at all, and it's so sad. I'm sorry. Like, play violin music here? Not going to do it. Um, That's a lot of work. I know. This is the latest album from Canadian power metalers. Unleash the Archers. Don't don't lose it. Let me try it again. Unleash the Archers. There you go. Way cut, more smooth. Cut in there. Yeah, that's right. So this is also also so what I'm showing today. Uh, double LP. Oh my god. That's like, ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like they're in my apartment with me. <laughs> like, this is insane. You and, guys want a beer? Yeah. Could you not have included this also as a poster? Because you could be on my wall right now. <laughs> Hello. Britney Slays. I love she's actually Britney Slays here. Um, one of the best vocalists in metal right now. Uh, as like an up-and-comer. Just has the pipes. Um, Cleanse the Bloodlines and Matriarch are by far the best songs on this album and I want like 10 more just like it that's where it kind of fell short for me I know it's concept record and maybe I haven't like sat down with the concept enough to really grasp it but uh, I was just from from their last album which you know I had gotten into well after that was released there were some really good songs on there that I was hoping they'd kind of steer more in that direction than they did on The Matriarch and Cleanse the Bloodlines. But the other ones just weren't there for me. So that's, it's a great record. And those two songs I'll be jamming for, you know, years to come. But you, you gotta have a few more bangers on an album to make my top ten, and you didn't. Needless to say... I mean, they're going to get there, uh, for sure. And this is still, this is still a quality. If you, if you think my top 10 records are all 90s, 90 to 100s, this is maybe an 82. So okay. if you were doing like a top 20, it might cut big. Oh, it'd definitely make a top 20. So, we, we just, we don't have that much time to make a top 20. I know. That's a lot of, the top 10 was a lot of effort. Exactly. So... Check these guys out. Do you know power metal is not huge in the U.S. It never has been, never will be. But hey, Halloween's coming here next year, and Unleash the Archers is out, and Jag Pans are put out a new record. So support your local power metal if you can, even if they are from Canada. That's right, especially if they're from Canada. Great, what? No, with that's it. That's it for us. We'll uh, finish these beers and hang out a little bit and. Probably talk behind your backs. Um, that's just what we do here. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, if you like what we're doing, let us know. If you hate what we're doing, I would like to hear that too. We'll do something else. We can pivot. Cheers. Peace.